everybody, my name's Aviana. I am one of the newest July Route 4 World Racers. Um, so this is going to be my About Me blog. Um, and instead of doing a blog, I'm going to do a video blog, so a vlog <laughs> is I think what it's called. I don't know. I'm not in the blogosphere or anything like that. Um, so this is going to be my first crack at it, and um, I just really thought it would be nice to do a video intro blog, so that way you can really get to know me as a person, and um, hopefully I'll be open and inviting so you'll want to contact me. <laughs> so anyway, so just um, a little bit of the bureaucratic stuff. Um, like I said, my name's Aviana. I'm 22 years old, and I'm a student at the University of Texas at San Antonio. Um... I'll be graduating this coming May on May 10th, yay, with my Bachelor of Science in Health with an emphasis on community and public health. Um, and uh, I guess I've kind of always known that I wanted to do something to help people at first um, before I really came to know the Lord. I really just wanted to be a doctor and be able to give back um, and I think as I've grown in the Lord, he's really shown me and laid it on my heart that missions is kind of what I want to do. I think I didn't really know what it was called at the time. I just knew that I wanted to be a doctor and then eventually I wanted to go out into the world, um, and provide clinics for people who couldn't pay for it and things like that. But God has really grown my vision of this and I think really laid it on my heart to do this ray to do this race at such an I think critical point in my life. Like I said, I'm graduating from um college in May and um I am looking to go to a um, master's school, but I really feel like God is really calling me to this at this point. Um I have little notes over here on the side, so that's why I keep looking to the side to remind me what I have to say about myself. Anyway, um, so I wanted to tell you all a little bit how I was um, led to the world race specifically at this point in my life. I already told you that I always felt like God's kind of put this calling on my heart for missions, but um, over the Christmas break, I really went through a season of hardship, and I had gone through quite a few, I think, hard things in the past year. Um, and I really began, began to grow closer to the Lord through these hardships and get to know him and have him be my all in all, which like I grew up in a Catholic household, so I always knew God, but I didn't really have this relationship with him that I have now. And, um, anyway, so I went through a really hard time over Christmas break with just a lot of different issues that were hard for me going on in my life. It became really, really hard to just trust people. And I kind of started disconnecting from things because I didn't really know how to handle it. Um, and I knew that I needed to bring it to God, but I didn't know how to really just completely lay it at his feet. And I think um, through everything that's been going on, he has really called me to this race as an exercise for me to grow in him in that way. Um, I think he really wants me to completely just trust in him. Um, he's saying, you know, Aviana, I, I need you to go on this race, not only to, you know, help people, but for me to heal you. And he's really showing me what it means to trust in God, not just for, you know, like my salvation, but also just earthly provisions. Like this fundraising thing is totally new to me. And um, that's something that's really hard, I think, is to really rely on people to um, not rely on people, but rely on God to provide you with tangible things. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so what I was saying is it's he's really teaching me that and I think he's going to show me even more once this race happens uh how he just really really loves me and will provide for me in anything that he calls me for and even though things might you know go bad or I might have like a turn even though I might have hardships I think is what I'm trying to say that God works all things for the good of those who love him and so I'm really trying to use this calling to rely on him and learn, grow in relationship with him. Mm -hmm. um, 
I know another thing they always ask is, what are your expectations for the race? And really, I have no idea. Um, I know it's going to be hard. <laughs> I know it's going to be an adventure. And I'm so excited because I love adventures. And um, I know I'm going to need to just rely him. I need God. And that, I think, is the big picture. And I think he's already showing me that, like I said, through this process of stepping out on a limb and traveling to every continent in the world when I've never really been out of the United States. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and this, this is my first mission trip. So, um, it's really big for me to do this. Um, I'm just really excited for him to use me in this way to not only heal myself, but heal others in the process. And I think that's going to be one of the most awesome things is, you know, allowing myself to be still and receive the love that Christ has mm. for me in order to then turn around and have like an overflowing of love and share that with others and hopefully win hearts for Christ. So that's my goal. Anyway, um, like I said, this process is huge as far as fundraising and my first fundraising deadline is really soon. Um, it's May 5th. I have to have 3,500 in my adventures account. Um, so I just ask that you will prayerfully consider supporting me, whether that's just in prayer, if that's all you can do right now, or if you feel called to give to my cause financially, I absolutely and completely appreciate that. And um, I look forward to getting to know more of mm -hmm. you. I'm going to try and video blog a couple more times. So I'm also going to be doing some regular blogging as well. That'll have more like scripture based, I think. Um, but this is just more to kind of get to personally know each other um, through this medium, which I think is really awesome. <laughs> but anyway, um, I guess kind of just close it out and say, um, Thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity, and I'm just so grateful. So I hope that you'll join me on this journey. Talk to you all soon.